Hey guys, welcome back. We have a special treat. We've got another unboxing video, and I've got I've got so many guns to unbox. I've got my main guy, Caden, here to help me out. Hey, Caden. Hey, what's up, Chris? Hey, this one is actually going to be really cool. I think this is the first time you've done a double unboxing video, a double header. This is my this is my first double header as far as the unboxing videos go, and I'm pretty excited. We've got kind of a similar gun. But not really. Same same caliper, same manufacturer. That's about the only thing they really share. Well, you know, mostly the same name, but that's that's kind of where it stops at. The uh how do you call it? The observant viewer is gonna notice this is a Ruger logo. I've got a Ruger logo on my box. Oh, let's not spoil the surprise yet, although we already did in the title. And uh, and, uh, and uh, the thumbnail, thank you guys very much. I, over the weekend, I was bored, and uh, I'd uh, been playing around with doing thumbnails. I didn't even know what a thumbnail was, but uh, I'm trying. Thumbnail, I got two of them, shit. I didn't mean to cuss. I, <laughs> I got a dirty thumbnail. I've been working. been doing the car stuff. Anyway, let me uh, get the camera set up, get it pushed down on the ground, and we're going to open this pair of... Uh, Rugers, let you guys take a look at it. Be right back. So, got the camera moved. I got these microphones kind of in a way. So, we're just kind of playing around with this. So, if we bump the mic or we knock the camera over, I promise you we won't do it anymore because these cameras and mics, they're not free. No. So, <laughs> this is kind of a learning curve for me and Caden. You ready? I'm ready, Chris. This feels like Christmas. I got two new presents here. They're not even mine, but we do have the pleasure of opening them. Oh, yeah. Try not to tear the box. I will try not to tear the box. This this guy, he actually gave me permission to uh, do an unboxing video, but he told me if you tear the box, I'll get a discount. And, uh, we can't be having no We're discounts. not in the business of giving discounts here. No. Oh, sweet Jesus. This is Look nice. at the foam. I hear all that plastic rattling. It sounds like Christmas morning at my house. He had tearing up stuff. Bolt dropped in here. Wow. These are really nice looking rifles, Chris. Now, do you know anything? Have you ever had your hands? I have sold a couple of these. Uh, I've ordered a couple for uh, some customers, and I've actually sold one that was a consignment gun. And um, the one you have in your hand there, that's a, that's a real nice firearm. It is. Uh, I don't really care for the camo stock, but it is really well made. Uh, I've got to handle one of these Ruger Americans before. I was looking at one at a gun show. <laughs> Gasp. I know, gun show. I was looking at one in 762 by 39 once, and uh, he wouldn't come down, and I wouldn't go up, and that's okay, but uh, it, uh, it felt really nice. I like these rifles. They're really light. If I was a hunter, this is probably what I would have. Look at that. Is that a... I was going to say it's a compensated barrel, but not really, because the uh, compensation goes 360 degrees. Yeah. I guess you'd call it a flash hider, maybe, or a... Some type of muzzle brake, and this one... Let me get this one around where you guys can see the, the muzzle device on it, too. And check out the check out the fluting on that. The, these guns are really nice. For the money, these guns are really sweet. So, let me, uh, maybe we should set them up or something. I don't, know. I don't know how to get both of them in the frame here. Let's just look at one at a time if you want to. Since, let's, do uh, let's do that. So, uh, you told me that uh, earlier we were talking about this. You said that one is the go wild version and one is the regular version. Do you know which is which? Oh, definitely, definitely. I can tell by looking at the barrel. Mm -hmm. The uh, the Cerakote on the barrel, that's an indication. So this has got like a really pretty, uh, you know, if you've ever seen the Ruger Wrangler in the, uh, I think they call it burnt bronze. Uh, this is the same color as that Ruger Wrangler. And that color, it looks really, really good. It almost looks kind of green to me. I'm a little bit colorblind. Um, but I, I really like the color on that. Of course, it's got a Picatinny rail up here for mounting your scope and whatnot. They got that trigger. It's got the, uh, what do you call that? Not a it's, it's, it's like the trigger safety. Yeah, like a trigger safety, kind of like a Glock. And uh, wow, what a rifle. It's got the safety on the tang back here, like a shotgun would. Yeah, so... It is, what is this? Was they some? Was they something on that? Yeah, uh, I think that's a little bit of oil because it's up here by the receiver as well. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I like didn't know if I was going to have to send this back, but I guess, you know, maybe something was touching that. It's actually wiping off right there. Yeah, just a little bit of oil. 
But the the stock on this uh, feels really good. It's kind of like a rubbery kind of. I don't know how to describe it. Kind of like a maybe like a some kind of overmolded uh, yeah, rubber like that. Yeah, not, and, not real tacky, but it is rubber. Yeah, and I'm just guessing. You know, I don't know. I'm like always. I'm gonna throw. Uh, I want throw the the spec sheet for each individual rifle up on the up on the screen that way you guys could take a look at them but uh really, this is a uh, really squishy rubber butt pad on the back back here yeah yeah and this is uh this is chambered in the uh in the 350 legend so yeah. you know these are going to put some meat on the table yeah 350 legends now i've never i've never even seen a 350 legend cartridge but uh is that one of those straight walled cartridge kind of like the well that bushmaster cartridge whatever they call it it is it is Wow. And did you say something on the, on the, these actually take AR mag, AR type mics? No, I was reading on the box a minute ago, Chris, that, uh, one of these, I don't think the other one said it, but one of these said takes AR style magazines. So I guess it could take Stanag mags. Um, let me get that out of the box real quick. I think it's in closed packaging. Obviously we're not going to open it cause it's a customer's and I'm not going to open a customer. Yeah, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drop no hints on who this customer is, but uh, yeah, check this out right here. So it says AR15. Uh, let me get it in the camera there. AR15, 350 Legend, five round stainless steel magazine, and it looks like one of those. Kind of looks like one of those 20 round AR mags. I guess it, you know, I guess it'd be more like a 10 round. I've never seen one of those, but for a mag, I did not know these could take a Stanag mag. Hold it up. Did you hold it up closer to the camera? Let's see here. Check that out. That's pretty sweet. Does the other one take that as well? You know, I, I honestly don't know. Here, let's uh, let's take a look at this other one. Okay, so I, I've just looked in the other box, and the other box also contains the same five-round 350 Legend magazine. So it does. They both take that kind of Stanag-style magazine. Yeah, you know I, I I love these guns. Like I said, I've sold a pile of these. You know, customers come in and wanted one. I've ordered them. I've actually done you know several unboxing videos of these these uh, rifles on the channel, and uh, these these are nice guns. You know, for for what you're paying for these guns, you know these these are fantastic. This, this, these are a rifle. You can hunt with every year for many, many years. You're not going to shoot this gun, you know, you're not going to shoot this gun out. I mean, this is, you know, this is a really well-made firearm. See how the bolt feels on that, Chris? Play around with it there. Pretty smooth. It is really smooth. Is there any bit of play in the back? Just a little bit. About what you'd expect. Yeah, yeah. And this one, uh, now I don't, I don't know for sure, but just looking at it, that looks about like a 16 inch barrel. Is that right? It is. It is. It's, it's 16 and something. 16 inch fluted barrel. Yeah. Yeah. And this is, like I said, I'm not going to drop any hints because, you know, I don't know. I know the, I know the dad, this is actually a, a father son combo that this customer ordered and he had been after me for a while to get this gun. For his little his little deer hunter that's coming up, and I'd been looking and you know couldn't find them until last week. My my distributor called and said, "Hey, you know I've got one if you want it." And I said, "Yeah, sure." So I called uh, I called my customer, and he said, "Hey, how about uh, how about this other rifle? You know this the you know." And we end up he ended up dropping the trigger on this go wild for his sale. Yep. But uh, who very very nice uh rifles look at the uh this is one on this rifle the uh, other version doesn't have this look at that big cheek welder out there yeah yeah other than that everything looks to be the same uh safety's in the same position obviously the uh right here the uh where you would put your hand at it looks molded a little bit different than on the other one as well i noticed that it does just a little bit maybe as well as the uh, front of the stock is also molded a little bit different yeah yeah there's there, there's some differences and uh, this one, it has, it even has a different type of, uh, yeah, a different butt pad on there. A butt pad, you know, it's got a different type of butt pad. So even though they're pretty much the same guns, you know, this go wild. It's, uh, it, it's, it's a bit more money. But these, uh, just the, just the regular Ruger American, you know, they're nice guns. I mean, 
this is a really, really nice rifle right here. I love the fluting on the barrel. Uh, kind of a unique muzzle device. I've never seen a, a hunting rifle come with such a thing. Now, I may be mistaken, but I think this is that Ruger American uh, ranch gun. Uh, very well, maybe. Yeah. But this is really, really nice. If I, I no, I'm not a I'm not a deer hunter. I don't I don't hunt deer. Uh, if I was hungry enough, I would. But man, this is a really nice rifle. I wouldn't mind at all to have one of these in a two two three just for fun. Yeah. Or you know, and and to be honest, I'm I'm digging this myself. I, I wouldn't mind to have a have a, a three fifty legend. It'd be it'd be great just to get out and you know, you know maybe uh, uh, take out some whistle pigs, some old uh, groundhogs. <laughs> You know, Groundhog Day come around, and oh, I'm just now seeing this. Is this a mag release right there, right here on the bottom? Like a magazine release. That's, that's a mag release. Does uh, does that other one? Does it go wild? Does it have it right there too? I'm not really sure. Take a look there. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah, yeah, same place. Yeah, that go wild. It's got a mag release right there. There on the bottom, which uh, I'm holding this rifle upside down just because I don't want to tear the. Don't want to tire the camera up or microphones or nothing like that. But anyway, it's right on the bottom. Uh, I am really impressed with the color of that Cerakote on the barrel and receiver there and, and the bolt handle as well. That looks really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I really hope uh I really hope that camera is picking up the color because it's uh it's it, it is, is it like a bronze? Yeah, they call it a I think they call it a burnt bronze. It almost looks kind of like a if you mixed a, a gold and a brown and a little bit of green in there, that's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, this, uh, I guess you would call this maybe a, uh, a real tree, uh, like a real tree pattern, mm -hmm. the camo on this. Uh, the other one's kind of like a smear stock. Uh, you know what, I guess what back in the day I'd call it a smear stock, but this one here, it's, it, to me, it's more like a, like a real tree looking, uh, if you was out hunting and you laid this 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 puppy up against uh maybe like a walnut tree or an old oak tree, no wonder the they painted that barrel that color. You know, maybe no wonder it's a, got the, all that uh, cerakote because if they didn't cerakote the barrel, you'd never find this. You know, you'd be out there for days. Uh, now this is something that I really Look appreciate that. with these guns. Um, uh, some Ruger rifles they don't come with sling swivels these have got your sling swivels built into the stock one up front and one back on the butt stock you know and that's a that's a great point with these ruger americans you buy your rifle it's got your picatinny rail on it all you need is a is an optic and a and a box of shells a box of ammo and you're ready to go. You're you're out the next day. You're out trying to put meat on the table. Oh yeah, you could throw a scope on this, put a little bit of oil on it, and use this until you're too old. Yeah, yeah. And so I saw this gentleman the other day, and I said, "Hey, you know, I think your I think your rifles are almost in, and you're just about to that point where the only thing you're going to have to worry about is some kind of you know some optic, you know what you know whichever optic you're going to go with." And he said he's probably going to do like a vortex. Mm -hmm. And you can, in my opinion. I love Vortex scopes. They're optics, you know, for what you give for them. You're getting a lot of glass for what you're paying for them. You know, the average person don't need a a thousand fifteen hundred dollar scope to go out and kill a deer. You don't need a Schmidt and Bender. You don't need a Night Force. Yeah, or yeah, Night Force, or you know, a Leopold Mark IV. You know, just to go out and you know, those throw, throw these guns in the back seat of the truck and take your kid out hunting. You're not going to go wrong with that uh, with that Vortex. I mean, great optics. I've, I've I've bought Vortex for years, never had an ounce of issues with them, you know. But in mind, I don't buy I don't buy a three hundred dollar Vortex and expect the quality of a twenty five hundred dollar Night Force. Mm -hmm. So you know, but yet again, I'm not spending twenty five hundred bucks on glass. But uh, this is what we have. Like I said, I we wanted to unbox these together. Because these guns, when they leave my shop, they're going to be staying together. And, uh, you know, it's uh, that's awesome. Heck, go buy your kid a damn gun. Anybody watching this, if you got a young man, you know, uh, that's a couple months. Deer season is going to be on us. Heck, it don't even have to be deer season. You know, you know, any kind of season. Get your kid outside. You know, buy him a firearm. Teach him how to shoot. You know, start him off. You know, we posted that. Uh, we uploaded that that 22 uh, video a couple of days ago, you know, train them up on your 22 long rifle, 
even if you don't do any hunting, take them outside, shoot some paper, shoot some steel, teach them all about gun safety. So they'll always be safe. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, like I said, this is what we have. We have two fine Rugers. 